Everybody got me in the pool. y'all but like when the grip is just horizontal it hurts my wrists and like I feel minimal back movement it's like all biceps so I usually try to avoid machines like this opt for like handled single arm cable pull down something like that look at this fucking oh my god it's fucking massive hold up you weren't even doing 45 pounds with this one he swapped this fucking goon swapped the plates I was doing 45s train for the muscle ups He's coming for those muscle up. Muscle up redemption arc incoming. Episode one starts now. <laughs> My nuts on this fucking chain, bro. They can pinch sometimes. Yeah, zoom in real quick. See any. We're good. I applied that adult diaper today. Posing is the hardest part about working out, I swear to god. It's like cardio, mind muscle connection. Like, I'm dead. And I used to run half north half for fun. All right, Johnstons, we just finished that workout and there's deer on this hill, like right here, looking at me. For running. So I'm about to get trampled. We gotta fucking walk through this two feet of snow, like your grandparents did to school every day. But overall, the back day was a fucking killer. I don't know what it is about back days. I don't know if I like them subconsciously, but like I'm always fucking just absolutely frying myself on them. Um, maybe that's why I have such a big back slash re adults because I know a lot of re adult and bicep that goes into it. Like honestly, I wouldn't even need to like work my bicep from external exercises other than back. What's up everyone, and welcome back to the first ever segment of Cooking with your boy, Daddy, Max Krause. So, we got my parents' entire kitchen here, which is a little dirty because we're a functioning family. This is not HGTV. <laughs> if you're wondering why I'm always wearing this hat, it's the only one I brought, and it's cold as shit in here because our heater broke. So, Bad timing with a fucking dead of winter in Wisconsin. Today we're gonna be preparing 
the world famous rice, beef, and beans created by yours truly. I was literally the first person to ever create that. I don't know, give it up for me, give it up for me, thank you, thank you. While doing that, I'll be going over topics that you guys might like to discuss. So, you know, just the usual Martha Stewart cook talk show, except I don't have an annoying bitch in my ear telling me that I'm making this shit wrong. <laughs> instant pot for rice. If you don't have an instant pot for rice, you are missing out. So the first topic that I want to talk about is, I see you guys, I see you guys, I see you guys tagging your girlfriends slash girls you're talking to in my comments and being like, oh, what do you think about this? And about half the time they say, oh no, that's too far, that's gross. Well, they're completely fucking wrong and you should not listen to them. And side note, I don't blame them. They don't know how the fitness industry works, but let me tell you. Another major challenge when cooking here is that I don't know where anything is because it's not my kitchen and I never cook here. But everyone's gone, I cannot ask for help, so I'm on my own. Wash that shit thoroughly. You don't want anything surprisingly sticky when it's time to, you know, get down to business. There we go, washed rice into the cooker. Then we're doing a one to one ratio of water to rice. So actually I'm gonna grab this again. Add a little bit of salt. Three minutes. So while the rice is cooking in the pressure cooker, we are going to start our beef slash ground turkey. Um, I don't really care about the leanness because I usually get like the grease and fat out of it anyway. Leaner is better. Leaner is better. It's just I'm a college, broke college student on a budget, so. Grab a big ass pan because we will be combining everything into this. Spray it a little bit. Spray it a little bit. I know, I know, I'm using canola oil. Oh, Fucking kill me. Lock me up. Send me to prison. Basically, what your girlfriend slash girl you're trying to impress by taking into my comments doesn't realize is that that is me in perfect lighting with a pump after I've worked out posing, right? I normally don't look anything like that. Even with that being said, about half of them reply like in positively. And I don't know what it is, but recently my posts have been like retargeted to about like half of the likes being ladies, especially with my back posts. So ladies, in the off chance you find this video, um, I can cook great, great food, world-class food that Gordon Ramsay actually taught me himself. So come over to dinner. Like, what are you waiting for? Come over to dinner. Bring your mother. Bring your grandmother if she's still got it popping. Nothing against the elderly here. We're not ages. <laughs> and at the end of the day, why does it matter? If she's the one for you, she should be supporting everything you do, including getting jacked. Because when she breaks up with you, inevitably, oh. would you rather be depressed and jack or depressed and be a skinny little bitch? So you gotta get to the gym, whether she likes it or not. And you know, there's always gym mommies. If she really doesn't like it, if she breaks up with you because you're muscular, which isn't gonna happen, by the way. And it's hard as fuck to get to look like me anyway. I mean, you can't look like me. Nobody can look like each other. I've said it in the last video, and I'll say it again a million times until I fucking die. Nobody can look like each other. But Everyone thinks like, oh, inclu including a lot of girls, like they don't go to the gym because they think they're going to get too bulky. That's not going to happen. Unless you're fucking, you know, Ronnie Coleman's kid, that's not going to happen. That's not going to happen even a year of lifting. So don't be afraid of getting muscle. It stagnantly burns more calories the more muscle you have, the more you can eat, even without working out. The more mass you have in your body, the more calories you burn passively just by sitting there. The more world famous beef, beans, and rice you can eat. It's perfect. So yeah, a lot of you are asking like, oh, what do, Max, what do you eat? What do you eat? What do you eat? What do you eat? Well, this is pretty much what I eat. Stuff like this. Stuff that's very simple and has a diverse amount of like protein and grains in it. And usually I'll cook up like a vegetable, like frozen packet in the microwave to have with this. But it's like a lot of low calorie, high density, high protein, like plain foods like this. This is, I think, the optimal food to eat. Um, it just has everything going for it. This is a four-arm workout and a half, like chopping up meat with no utensils. Because the rest of my family is vegan. I don't know if you guys knew this. It's a crazy fucking fact. Like, I can't believe this, but I was actually vegan for literally six-ish years. Yeah, I was a skinny cross-country runner boy. Being vegan reduces inflammation in your body a little bit. So I feel like it actually did help with running at least. Yeah, I'm no longer vegan. It's just very, very hard to cook high-protein vegan foods for yourself. 
especially on a college boy's budget. But yeah, the rest of my family is vegan, so we don't even have like, a meat thermometer here. Making frozen chicken in the oven's kind of fucking sketch. I built a decent physique being completely vegan. I'll slap some pictures up right now. Um, that was built 100% being vegan. All right, meat's finishing up here. So we're gonna drain this. Not down the sink, by the way. Never do it down the sink. Unless you want to call out a plumber and see some plumber's ass crack. But now that I'm thinking about it, shit, maybe I should pour this down the sink. I don't think you guys realize, like, essentially all my free time is put towards these videos. Like, genuinely. Like, the three-day schedule, I know a lot of YouTubers do that, but that's because they have external editors. Like, just think, I shoot this by myself, I edit this by myself, which, looking back, I was just completely naive. This shit takes so long. Like, I didn't think it would be that big of a deal editing a video, but there, you have to rewatch it through your entire footage, edit it, rewatch it, edit it, rewatch it. So you have to do multiple pass throughs, and then you have to edit the thumbnail, which you have to find the frame for the thumbnail, kind of get a theme for the thumbnail, write the description, upload it, which I have to upload it at the gym because. Shut your bitch ass. Which I have to upload at the gym because the internet here at this house is not good enough. So it's just like such a big hassle. It takes so much time when you're doing literally 100% of everything yourself and you're posting every three days. If I had an editor, if I got to the point where it would make sense to get my videos externally edited, number one, they would probably be better. Number two, it would be just so much easier. Like, these YouTubers that have editors and are complaining about it, holy shit, just shut up, dude. But, dude, if you can't post videos, like, every three days with the help of people, even, like, a videographer, like, your work ethic is just not there, I'm sorry. Especially when they do that for a job. Like, I'm in college, bro. Like, I have, I have family Christmases going on and stuff. Like, I'm busy as fuck. Alright, so let's just get this grease out of here. And I get it, I get it. Some videos take longer to make than others. Some styles of videos. And I think the kind that I make is rather on the short end. So, um, I'm just talking about, you know, the area of quote-unquote, like, vlogging type shit, where I'm just doing, like, little segments throughout my day. You know, I get it. I get it. Some of them are much longer. And, not to mention, I'm editing on my old 2016 MacBook Pro with the i7 in it. It does the job. It can even edit 4K. But it's slow as fuck, like it, it, the heat throttling is just so bad because I have to charge it while editing. When I have an M1 MacBook, like that will make it so much easier. Genuinely, it will probably cut down my editing time by like 15, 20%. And not having to wait for all these like small actions you're doing, like moving around clips and trimming them to like kind of finish processing. But we're getting an upgrade very, very, very soon. I just have to find a you know, good deal. Alright, the camera's at 8%, so we gotta finish this up here. Alright, so rice is finished up. Low on battery, so I had to do this off camera. I washed the black beans into, which we will heat up on low heat just to warm everything up. And we will be also simultaneously combining some of this rice into the pot here. Kind of a trio here, right? Grab some random spices. Sprinkle that John, sprinkle that John, quite have to leave it with paprika. Season salt. Then essentially you just stir this up, so cut to when it's stirred up. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Look at that. Daddy made himself a little treat. Um, one thing I want to say, if you're eating junk food, right, you can't get out of the habit of eating junk food, just stop it completely. Stop it completely, because when you're eating sugary, very, very flavorful foods, it makes your baseline level of taste increase. If you stop eating foods like that, foods like this will taste absolutely fucking amazing. You can't tell me that doesn't look good. That looks like Aunt Jemima's cooking right there. Don't be shy now. Come on, take a bite. You might think this is a normal bowl, right? No, this is this is no normal bowl. This is a big ass bowl. You combine that with something like a Diet Pepsi Cola? Oh my God, Lord in heaven, let me tell you. I know, I know. One bite for the fans, right? One bite for the fucking fans. Mm. Something about that just brings a tear to my eye. It's just, it's gorgeous.